I mean, I had never been on a scripted set, and so just yeah. having the chance to create one was really special. Sound off in the comments. Like, we want to hear your opinions about laundry, about groceries, about oh, sex, yeah, yeah. about your parents. Um, but we really <laughs> hope that you guys are enjoying um, adulting um, both ways, in your real life and through this platform through our series. Stay tuned for the inside scoop from Kara about parents. What's up y'all, it's Kara, and I am the writer, director, and editor on set of the pot called The Kettle. This episode is our parents episode and I, I don't even know where the topic of parents came up, but I do think that it is an important part of the adult experience. And one thing that this show is, is it's real. As I was writing the script, I, I think I just wanted to capture, because initially I think I wanted a mother-daughter relationship. And then I was like, uh, a daughter-father relationship just felt a lot more dynamic. Um, I wouldn't really say it's a personal tale. I think that I have a pretty decent relationship with both of my parents, but you know, there are things that I wish that I could say to them that I don't. And I think that that was more so where I was coming from, having a block between how you feel and what you communicate to your parents. Production on this episode, it was all shot in Malik's house. Ooh, we came at like 7 a.m. and we just banged out all of Scylla's shots. So we get there. I remember initially we went and we shot the scenes from outside. Um, we shot the train and everything. Initially when the train scene was happening, we were going to get like an exterior perspective of her on the phone doing the monologue, which was Paulette's idea. She wanted us to get on the tracks. This bitch was trying to kill us. I felt that the monologue should be a one take just so you can see Scylla's acting quality, like her progression from being angry to just being sad. You see you see the tears well up in her eyes. I didn't want to take away from that. Parents Unscripted was our last unscripted and what a dark day. A lot of people canceled on us that day, so there's a significantly less amount of of people on that shoot in general. Talking about your parents is not easy. Um, it really took a lot of coaxing on our end as producers to get a lot of those responses that you saw and even more responses because people were reluctant to share. And it's also like, this is about to be on the internet. My mom and dad can see this at any time. Because mental health is so important to us, we as producers decided to donate our own personal funds to BEAM, the Black Emotional Mental Health Collective, which focuses on mental health for people of color. There's a lot that we don't share with our parents as far as who we are, as far as what we what we do. Uh, it's like they get one version of us and we have another version of ourselves for our friends or for our coworkers or for everything. But mentally, there's a lot that should be communicated to your parents. 